The list is out. The one every inventor wants to be on. It's called the 50 Best Inventions of 2010, and it's actually from our partners over at Time.com. Now, the first one they're pointing to, probably the most obvious one, the iPad. Here you go. One of the folks at uh, Time ask, how does Apple keep out inventing the rest of the tech industry? They say it's often by reinventing a product category that its competitors have given up on. All right, now here's something on the list that you're much less likely to own. A flying car, the Terrafugia transition. Tom says it could redefine the convertible designed by a team of MIT aeronautics engineers. It's a street legal, airworthy, airbag and parachute equipped flying car that at $200,000 is priced less than a Lamborghini. Uh, the first models are expected to be delivered next year. By the way, speaking of cool and new ways to fly, the list also includes this. Take a look here. The Martin Jetpack, which positions itself as the first practical jetpack. Now, there are also some inventions on here that are all about medical breakthroughs that can really help people. Take a look here. They talk about the malaria-proof mosquito and the mosquito laser. And there's also this called the E-Legs exoskeleton that uses artificial intelligence to read the wearer's arm gestures and simulate a natural human walk uh, could help some paraplegic patients. In fact, we showed it to you in the newsroom with Ali Velshi as a woman who had been in a wheelchair for years tried it out. I never believed in my lifetime that I would be able to walk and here I am walking with you side by side, eye to eye, and it's the most beautiful thing that I, you know, it just it triggers emotion in me to this day. Some amazing inventions. Um, I posted the whole list for you up at Facebook and Twitter. Here's my page, Josh Lev CNN. Take a look there over at the blog. Uh, let us know your thoughts. Also, let us know if there's any really cool inventions out there that you think were left out of this list. We'd love to hear from you. Back to you. Here at Wirefly, we've been getting a lot of questions about Android. So, just what is Android and what is an Android phone? Well, quite simply, Android is a new mobile operating system created by our friends at Google. Android phones all have a nice touchscreen interface, like the iPhone, but that's just the beginning. There are a couple of things that distinguish an Android phone from other touchscreens. One is that Google built Android as an open architecture. That means anybody can develop applications and enhancements for your phone, making it infinitely customizable. Other touchscreen phones like the iPhone let you add apps, but you can't really change the core interface. Don't like the way your phone handles text messages? You can download a different text messaging application. This is the MyTouch, which is an Android phone from T-Mobile. As you can see, I have two different phones here, and I'm trying out two different text messaging applications, both of them free. In the future, if I switch from T-Mobile to, say, Verizon Wireless, and for some reason I don't like their address book, I can change my new Android phone to use the one I like. There are now, or will soon be, Android phones available from Verizon Wireless, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile, and they are manufactured by a variety of companies like Samsung, Motorola, and HTC. They vary in size. Some are pure touchscreens, and some have regular keyboards as well but every Android phone will work in a similar way. So in the future, if you want, you'll be able to switch phones or carriers and never feel like you had to learn a whole new set of menus. We're very excited about all the new Android phones. Check out some of the great deals here at Wirefly. And if you'd like to learn more, visit the Android phone section of Wirefly Learn.
Mimi, 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 Mimi,